Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna have a two for one. Hi guys. All right, so we're starting off with the coconut curry shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add just a little bit of coconut oil, which is what you're seeing now, to the pot so that we can saute the seasoning, which will be just green pepper, onion, and probably a clove or two of garlic that we've diced. All right, so just adding them to the heated pot, we can go ahead and add our coconut milk. At this point, the stove start the, the burner started off at a at a low to medium heat. We are going to go ahead and stir to get the seasoning evenly distributed in the coconut milk, but we're also going to turn the stove up to a medium high, which is why you're seeing the steam as much as you're seeing now. I did go ahead and add it and added thyme to the pot just so that I can get a kick of flavor. Um to that sauce that I'm making as you can see it's still a little bit watery so we're gonna go ahead and have it boil some more so that we can get it reduced a little bit more You stir just enough to make sure that all your ingredients is evenly they're evenly distributed in the pot so right here you can see where the coconut milk is reduced to the point where we're having coconut oil on the top of it so if you know how to identify coconut oil you'll see that it's right resting on the top and it's way more than we added initially all right, so we're going to move ahead and go start with the fried rice. So I added a couple tablespoons of normal vegetable oil to the pot, and we're going to go ahead and add our eggs. So it's just simple scrambled eggs that we're doing. So you just add your eggs to the pot, and you're going to go ahead and scramble them, making sure that we don't have large particles, large pieces in there. So we're going to go ahead and basically try to get it as finely dispersed as possible the rice that we're gonna add is rice that I cooked the day before now the rice you can use the rice that you're gonna cook that same day or even rice that you cooked before that but whichever way you choose you should still get the same result or very close so I'm adding three tablespoons of sesame oil this not only adds flavor but it also gives you that sizzle that you would that you'd hear when you're doing the fried rice adding three tablespoons of soy sauce so it is a one-to-one -one ratio with the sesame seed oil and the soy sauce the soy sauce will also give you a kick of flavor and gives you that color that we are used to having fried rice looking like you can see all that steam coming onto the pot it's giving you a nice sizzle all right so right here we are going to add the shrimp as you can see the shrimp was previously seasoned so it does have the coconut the curry powder with powdered seasoning as well as onion thyme scallion all of those things so we're gonna go ahead and mix it so that the coconut oil can have some curry distributed in it to give you that coconut curry sauce that we are aiming for so i did turn the stove down for a little bit so at that at this point it is on a low medium heat 
and if you know shrimp you know that they cook really quickly so you don't want to have it too high only because you need your sauce to be reduced to that right thickness that you like so you're gonna go ahead and allow it to cook on that low heat in the fried rice pot we're gonna go ahead and add a can of mixed vegetables you can use frozen vegetables but i choose to use the canned ones because it gives you it, it it allows the vegetables to be a little bit more firm with the frozen vegetables because of the ice i feel like sometimes it gets mushy and i don't like that on the other burner we have the shrimp going you can see it having those bubbles but if you look you can see that the shrimp is cooked so the tail of the shrimp when it becomes pink and the shrimp is forming that c shape you know that the shrimp is cooked at this point it's safe to eat and because of that I wouldn't allow it I wouldn't want to allow it to cook anymore because it is going to be rubbery but my sauce isn't finished so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out of the pot for a little bit so that I can get the sauce to that right thick um, thickness that I like so we're just gonna remove them for a little bit so that we can do what we need to do to get that sauce at that right place As you can see, it's really watery at this point. So you don't want it to be that watery, especially if you're somebody who likes the gravy of, of the whatever meat or fish that you're eating. So I had it on a medium to high heat at this point, just to get it to be reduced enough so that it's not as watery as it was before. All right, so it being reduced enough at this point, I went ahead and I added back the shrimp to the pot. So I'm gonna go ahead, have the shrimp added. I'm turning the stove back down to a low heat because I don't want the shrimp to be overcooked. Overcooked shrimp tastes like rubber. It literally gets very rubbery and you don't want to have that. So you turn the stove down and allow it to just slowly cook or slowly heat up. At this point, the fried rice is complete. It is done, ready to eat, ready to be plated. It's finished. So now we're just waiting on the shrimp just a little bit longer. And the end result is this. I sided mine with avocado because that's one of my favorite things to eat but you can side yours with whatever vegetables you like thank you for watching i hope you enjoy mm -hmm.